confrontation with the consequences of sin. You know where that starts? You know where it started for me? When God brought the consequences into my own life. We run from that, don't we? We want to be shielded from that, and the world says, yeah, you should be shielded from that. There are no consequences to bad behavior. Cover them up. Get rid of it. Hide them. It's the consequences of our sin when we face that, and God makes us aware of that, that causes us to reach out compassionately to others who have been beaten, stripped, and robbed. And then you see what happens next? What starts to happen when the consequences of sin come right in the face of this Samaritan, and he doesn't shirk from it, doesn't run from it, doesn't hide from it, he faces it, healing starts. Do you see this? Healing begins. Healing begins in our own life through this process. Only after the consequences of that action were met and dealt with. That causes compassion and the healing starts in your own life. We, we can't hide and run from those things. And the world offers us many venues to do that. Many things to keep us numb to the pain of the world and the pain in our own lives. That was all stripped away from me. The consequences came home in my own life. That is the only way when you come across somebody who is also beaten, stripped, and robbed, the only way you will ever stay on the same side of the road and approach them and go up to them and see their condition is because you've been there.